In terms of like sort of stage presence, I think we've all kind of evolved. We're a lot more at ease on stage now. The people who saw us right at the very start, we just kind of like shuffle around on stage nervously. Dan especially, he's kind of come into his own quite a bit as a front man. I was always really uncomfortable on stage. Hey, hey, hey. I think the big education for us was going out on tour, playing festivals. This is you racing Recently, someone was like, why the hell are you moving around the stage like Eminem when you're singing depressing ballads? I realised that I must have subconsciously decided that I was a rapper. So if that's an evolution, probably. <laughs> <laughs> And our influences individually are quite varied. Woody comes from a sort of rockier background. Kyle listens to some stuff that sounds like an iPod breaking. <laughs> Dan listens to like anything that's cool and new. And I'm kind of more into sort of older, bluesier, jazzier stuff. And we all did agree on Dr. Dre 2001 as being the greatest piece of art, not just music, of all art from mm -hmm. all of history. And I'm including Caravaggio, yeah. Michelangelo, Dali, Michael, the, the yeah. Renaissance masters, they could pale in comparison. <laughs> Mercedes-Benz Evolution Tour. Obviously it's a freebie for, for, for some fans for one, and obviously they can hear, hear some brand new material. Well for us, like, it's a really nice opportunity to to road test some new songs. Protest. Oh. Yes. Summer evening breeze is blue, drawing voices deep from you, led by a beating heart. What a year and what a night. What a it's an interesting that people or companies and artists cross industries to collaborate. I think it's quite a indicative of, you know, the world we live in where it's kind of a cool collaboration. A B common part. You run into the night from all you have. Found yourself a path upon the ground You ran into the night you can't be found Our album is, apart from my vocal, is kind of quite all over the place. There's, we never really wanted to be one thing. We wanted to be able to jump between harder rock stuff and more electronic tunes. Um, so that's kind of been the main thing for us. In terms of going forward and, and looking back, like, it would be nice to think that we did something different on every album. This is your heart. The next record, it'll be a progression from the last one. Like we're not, we're not going to make Bad Blood number two. We're we're very different people from who we were like three years ago. I think it'd be a little bit disingenuous if we kind of made something very similar to that now. Yeah, the um, new album's just about caviar. <laughs> it's a bit like when you see someone and they look really different to them. That's been a gradual change, but to you, you're like, whoa, you've changed. All the new stuff to us just sounds like Bastille, but then every now and then we play it to people, and if they're really shocked, I don't know. That didn't make any sense, sorry. I liked, I liked it. Did you? Yeah.